If I remember correctly, it was in the spring of 1977 that Lee Friedlander and I were at an outdoor cafe in Washington when he mentioned that he'd be interested in seeing what I could do with a large format camera. Another friend, Caldecott Chubb, had an 8 by 10 inch Deerdorf view camera, a beautiful piece of equipment. Cotty brought it down from New York that summer, gave me a few rudimentary tips on how to use it, and left it with me to take on my annual trip down south. I really didn't know anything about it technically. It is amazing that I got any exposures right. Nick Nixon, who was one of the first of my artist friends to see the proof prints of that first trip in 1977, looked at them and said, my goodness, Chris and Barry, you use that big camera just like you do the brownie. Straight ahead, tilt down. I didn't know anything about all these swings and tilts, and I still don't. There are some subjects that particularly lend themselves to the big camera. One of my favorite pictures is called China Grove Church. I think I made it in 1979. This, to me, is a good example of how the large camera can function to do something that I had wanted to do for a long time, and that is to capture the feeling of aloneness of a beautiful church down a country road. I'm not saying I couldn't have done it with the small camera, but to my mind, this one did it.